Tonight, there are more questions than answers in, in Moscow, Idaho. Authorities there now providing conflicting statements on whether the shocking murders of four college students there was a targeted attack. Meanwhile, the father of one of the victims gave an emotional account of his daughter's final moments. CBS's Lilia Luciano is there. Nearly three weeks after four University of Idaho students were stabbed to death, police still have no suspect, weapon, or motive in the killings of Kaylee Gonsalves, Madison Mogan, Ethan Chapin, and his girlfriend, Zana Kernodal. What they have said from the start is this was a targeted attack. Wednesday night, local police released what they called a clarification, saying... Detectives do not currently know if the residents or any occupants were specifically targeted. Then today, state police told CBS News, we remain consistent in our belief that this was indeed a targeted attack, but have not concluded if the target was the residents or the occupants. People in the community care. Yesterday, we spoke with the Idaho State Police Information Officer. What constitutes a targeted attack? Based on the totality of what was seen um, at the scene itself and the fact that there were survivors and that it didn't appear that there's any forced entry, you know, that leads detectives and, and the chief to believe that truly was a targeted attack. At a vigil last night, Kaylee Gonsalves' father honored the friendship between his daughter and Madison Mogan. Sixth grade, they just found each other, so then they went to high school together. Then they started looking at colleges. They came here together. And in the end, they died together in the same room, in the same bed. Without an arrest in this case, school officials tell us more than a fourth of the student population did not return to campus after the Thanksgiving break, and they're learning remotely for the rest of the semester. Nora. Lilia Luciano on that continuing mystery. Thank you.